Hi guys, glad to see you. Continue testing chat GPT and today it is a weather data processing term and I hope it will be so amazing. Thus, today we will try to use uh, some weather data and then try to ask chat GPT to write a code uh, in MATLAB environment to load uh, weather data from some ground station and then visualize it uh, with the help of simple plot function. Therefore, just ask chat GPT to assist us. Uh, as usual, we will start from uh, exactly tag what we would like to get from chat GPT. Thus, write a code in MATLAB 2016 A to plot a daily temperature variation in uh, Frankfurt Airport, okay, uh, ICAO code of Frankfurt Airport is EDDF, that's in uh, EDDF Airport, uh, okay, uh, during uh, the February uh, 2023. Uh, okay, then we need to specify uh, from which source we would like to use the data. I prefer to sp specify the source of data because uh, in, if we do not do that, uh, we can get some link to open source uh, data, data set uh, which can um, can be unavailable actually now. Okay, maybe during the database of chat GTP uh, this file was um, available. However, nowadays it can be broken. That's why uh, I prefer to specify a place from uh, which uh, we can uh, get the data when we talk with uh, chat GTP. Uh, thus, uh, whether data uh, load in uh, MATLAB uh, from no uh, aviation uh, weather server server it is open uh, source text uh, server thus we can use it anywhere and anytime and uh, also it will be better to specify uh, in which uh, case we can extract this data and uh, based on API configuration JSON file um, or JSON extension is uh, much more uh, frequently useful and um, save it uh, locally as XML uh, because uh, I would like not only just uh, get the data I would like to save it uh, locally and uh, get like XML file with uh, approximately 28 uh, days of data uh, related uh, to Frankfurt Airport Thus, uh, actually now we can run uh, this uh, request for ChatGPT and let's uh, see which result uh, we will have. Okay, and you will see, first of all, ChatGPT uh, introduced a link by which we can uh, interrogate with uh, our server. And uh, next, uh, we just need to copy it. Okay, sorry. Uh, maybe I missed something, just copy it and paste in uh, our MATLAB. Okay, however, I will use a specific 
uh, script in text editor. That's why I will put it uh, here. Okay, uh, thus I just added here, yes, uh, here we are, and run for evaluation in MATLAB. And we need to wait something because uh, during this code uh, we will contact Aviation Weather Go, then uh, download uh, XML file uh, with um, daily variation in EDDF airport and then save it locally uh, and then plot it. Uh, thus, first of all, let's discuss what we have in this uh, code. First of all, uh, we uh, uh, use function web save, okay, to save uh, a data which we load in EDDF with the data XML. Thus, you see that even title of file has been created um, exactly what we are looking for. Uh, let's check. Uh, actually, I'm go to MATLAB and we will see that, yes, I've got this data file, EDDF weather data XML. If I try to open it, I we need to wait a little bit uh, more. Yes, and I've got it and you will see that it is a pure XML uh, data in which uh, we have Metar tag with uh, different data about a particular uh, weather condition, including uh, dew point, uh, wind direction, wind speed, visibility, uh, and uh, of course, static pressure. Okay, all data that uh, could be transferred via METAR, uh, we've got it here. And uh, let's go next uh, by our code and uh, what we have here. Let's see, j just a second, I will open it a little bit uh, wider. Thus, uh, then uh, chat GPT. Uh, propose us to use function XML to struct uh, to import uh, XML data from uh, our file. Thus, uh, we create uh, weather data and it should be structured data. Weather data, yes, one and one structure. A structured array in MATLAB includes uh, multiple things inside. Thus, if you, if you go inside of a response, you will see that there are a lot of many other fields based on XML structure of this file. And then you will see that we've got uh, 521 uh, cell in our METAR, of our METARs. And then we can choose uh, any METAR and here we've got uh, decoded values and even raw text of our METAR. Okay, that's why here you can uh, find it and use it. However, I would like to come back to uh, our code and uh, here you will see that a next um, uh, next part of our code it is extract the data, uh, date and temperature data from structured array. That's why it uses a uh, specific uh, request with the path for uh, particular data which we need. For example, in my case, I need temperature. That's why, yes, uh, ChatGPT grab uh, exactly data which uh, I would like and place it in matrix T. And then uh, play a little bit with uh, data because uh, we would like actually to get uh, data time to make it possible uh, to put uh, in their plot. Uh, in the plot. That's why uh, we grab uh, data time for each uh, METAR 
uh, data. And then uh, we use just um, just a figure function and a plot function with the labels and title to draw uh, our data. And finally, what we have. Okay, and here you will see daily temperature variation in um, EDDF airport during the whole February. And based on that data, you will see, okay, we do not have for the whole February. However, I think we can tune a little bit our request to improve a response from ChatGPT to obtain the data which we exactly would like. That's why uh, here we've got approximately for, from February 14 up to uh, February 25th. And we can see temperature variation in uh, degrees. Okay, it's good. Uh, next, uh, let's. Um, um, okay, next, if you would like, we can uh, change this code how we would like. Uh, for example, we can uh, do the same for getting data about static pressure variation. Or even we can add uh, another airport. Okay, we can do everything here. Uh, or even more, we can plot a map uh, with uh, te current temperature in particular region. That's why we can do a lot with ChatGPT. Only that we need, we just need to create a particular request. And this request in ChatGPT should be quite, um, quite simple and uh, has one direct uh, rule for development. Because um, we need to be structured to generate this text for ChatGPT to get correct answer. Thus, thank you for watching. I hope um, you've seen that uh, working with ChatGPT is quite easy and we can play a lot. We can uh, do everything even if we don't know MATLAB. However, of course, we need to uh, we need to improve a little bit each code from uh, ChatGPT because uh, sometimes uh, we've got not so adequate uh, feedback from ChatGPT. Also, uh, don't forget that uh, you can resubmit to a request for ChatGPT and uh, you can repeat it each time until you get a correct answer. That's why we can uh, do the same request multiple time, uh, times and then just to choose which uh, answer will be um, sufficient for our uh, request. Thus, Thank you for watching. Hope uh, ChatGPT help you too. Uh, see you later. Bye.